Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. As I'm looking around the YouTube community, I am seeing more and more people doing no spend months and extremely tight budgets. And as I am not doing that, I thought today I would share the top 10 things that I do not buy anymore. Number one is cable. I am seeing more and more people get rid of cable. Uh, personally, I use you know the Netflix, Hulu, and then my boyfriend and I both just got, I guess, DirecTV On Demand app. He got a really good deal. I don't know if it was through work or like a New Year's thing, but he got us a good deal. So I have it on my phone, he has it on his phone, and we can watch them on our computers. So we have both cut cable. Number two, I wrote newspapers, magazines, and books. Newspapers, uh, we used to get them at my work office, and I, no matter whether or not I have access to them, I will not buy them. Sometimes my parents or my neighbors, neighbors will have them, and I can borrow from them and just read them, even if they're a day old. Magazines and books, I actually use my library card. I will go to the local library here downtown, and I will get all the books and magazines that I want, and then I will return them. So there's no need to spend money on them when my tax dollars pay for the library down the street and I can go access them for free. Number three of things I don't buy anymore, manicures and pedicures. Um, this is a great investment. If you don't know how to do it, learn how to do it. Doing your own nails saves so much money. It might not be the best way to save your time, but I like to use it as like a relaxation, like my hour to just relax, zone out, put on music or something on TV, and just paint my nails, toenails, put on like lotion, pajamas, something comfortable, and drink tea, and that's just like my relaxing hour. Number four on my list of things I don't buy anymore are retail haircuts. How many times do you go to a high-end salon and you ask for a haircut and you get what you want? I rarely go in and ask and get what I, I can't speak. Oh, I rarely get what I ask in high retail salons. So what I've done to save money is I find friends or even on like Facebook groups that have postings on local services and I'll find somebody who, you know, has the expertise to cut hair but does it also in the privacy of like their home or as a side hobby and I can go get my hair washed, cut and styled for $10 from somebody who works daytime at the high-end salon but then does it personal at her home. I also like giving to smaller businesses and companies. It feels nice to do that. Number five, trips to the movies. The last time I went and saw a movie, it was date night with my boyfriend and I, and to get a small soda, he's a soda drinker, I am not, but he is, a small soda was like $5.25. You could go to the Target next door and get five one liters for $5. It, I'm not being cheap or anything, that's just ridiculous. And I know that's how movie theaters make their money. I understand that is their, you know, their sales tactic and their business and marketing, but that is ridiculous. I will never under any circumstances pay $5 for a small drink of any size, of any kind, of any size. Anyway, movies are not something that I have a big desire to see. I have no problem waiting until they come out on DVD or if there's a movie night with my friends. I have no big rush to see anything. And if I do, there are plenty of dollar theaters uh, in town. So once I wait for a movie to you know, lower the hype, it's not as exciting anymore, but I go to the dollar movie, I'll go see it there. But trips to the movies are just out. I would much rather just make my 50 cent popcorn here and drink my water, tea, or juice and watch a movie here at home. Number six are weekly gourmet coffee trips. There are plenty of really nice coffee shops here in the city, and it's not just Starbucks. There are some wonderful like local chains, and I used to go there all the time. Now I make my own cold, my own cold brew coffee here at my home, and then maybe once every two weeks, maybe once or twice a month, I will go to a gourmet coffee shop and I'll get just a nice simple like cold brew coffee, maybe like a pastry or something, but I don't go every week anymore. So weekly trips are out. It's more like a treat and a bi-weekly trip. Seven, DVDs. This goes along with magazines and books. I get those at my library. I don't really keep DVDs anymore. Uh, when I became a minimalist, I gave away a majority of the DVDs because I would have them, watch them for a little bit, and then they would just sit on my shelf and collect dust. So I thought, I thought what's the point? Why have them? So I gifted them away and they are gone. Number eight, this has been gone for a very long time. Full priced clothing. With all the retail consignment shops and online Facebook groups, Craigslist, there is 
no shortage of ways to find discounts on clothing. On top of that, even though I don't recommend this, you can have, um, you can sign up for subscriptions to certain stores and you can get updated when they have sales on clothes. So really paying full price on clothes is really just for the lazy. Number nine, I do not pay full price on music. Personally, I'm a big radio listener. I listen to the radio on you no know, drives, so it'll work. Um, and then my boyfriend has a subscription to Google Music. So when I wanna listen to a specific CD or soundtrack, I could just put the app on my phone and log in as him and listen to whatever music I like. And last but not least, of things I do not spend money on or buy anymore, live theater or event tickets. And once again, I am an actor, so I do like to see a lot of live shows and performances and live theater, but how I get around paying these you know, retail prices is I will wait until the final weekend. If a theater hasn't sold out, they typically do discounts on tickets, or I will volunteer to usher, or I will volunteer any type of service that the theater would like that they would barter for free or discounted tickets. You'd be really surprised if you just reach out to a company and you know express interest in what they produce or provide. Nine times out of 10, they're okay with giving you a discount. You just have to ask. But anyway, those are the top 10 things that I do not spend money on anymore. Please leave me a comment down below telling me the top one to 10 things that you don't spend money on anymore. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, to make sure to subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Whew, this cold is so bad. Ugh. Being sick is awesome.